Hi guys, and welcome to Geek Talk, where we talk deep and geek about pianos, keyboards, synthesizers, and music production. And I want to talk to you today about something that I call the drag and drop producer. Now, artificial intelligence has made our lives a lot better, and it has also been very intrusive. Now think of when you're on Google, or particularly YouTube. YouTube will suggest videos to you based on your you know, your search history and straightforward stuff. So your YouTube feed is going to be very different to mine, just like your Facebook feed will be very different to mine. And that is the, you know, the blessing and both the curse of um, social media, but we won't get into that. The point I'm making is that every time I watch a video on YouTube, certain type of ads come up because of my interests. And a lot of the times it's music production ads, you know, uh, uh, keyboard synthesizers, uh, uh, products, uh, plugins, all kinds of things. But there are a few ads that come up, and I'm not going to mention them. They're really, gr they're really like, oh, you know, you, you know, when you turn on YouTube, there are always those ads that come up, and you're like, oh my god, skip, skip, skip. Oh my god, not this ad again. And I'm not going to mention any names because I'm not into the the game of slagging companies or people's products off. But. There are a lot of these drag and drop things like MIDI pack, MIDI packs and things like that. And I'm the kind of guy when I see something that I don't like or approve of, I, I don't give it attention. I don't slag it off. I just walk away. I'm not one of these people that tries to tear things down. Um, but of course, being human, we all have our opinions on things. And the reason I'm making this video is because obviously I have my opinion on this, but one of my students uh, and asked me the other day, actually a few people have asked me, but it was when one of my students asked me, he said, Vaughn, what do you think of these, these MIDI packs and these, you know, these construction kit software uh, things you get, you know, to help you with your music production? And then I thought to myself, well, I can give you a diplomatic answer. And then I'm going to give you my brutally honest answer. Now, diplomatically speaking, um, as I say, I'm not into slagging anyone's products off. I believe we all need to make a living and we all need to, you know, we all need to live and get on. Um, but I'm a real big advocate of technology. I, you know, I love working smarter and not harder. I believe in things getting easier because of technology. However, with that comes this mindset of instant gratification and, you know, getting things done now, want it now, 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 finish, finish, finish. And also with that comes the desire to get things done without actually putting in the work. And we see this a lot um, you know, with people, you know, where they talk about get rich quickly. Well, we know that people that, and, and there are examples where people do, but very often they fail. The best examples are people who we all know that old man who started off with nothing and used to wash dishes and then he built his empire. Then he, you know, he worked in the kitchens and now he's got his own chain of restaurants. We all know that story. Hard work. So where are you going with this Vaughn? Well, the whole idea of you being a producer and you're not very uh, skilled, you haven't honed your skills, you're brand new to it, you don't understand chords or music. So you go and buy this software or where you can go, Oh, there's a drum, there's a drum loop. Oh, what skips go? Uh, I'll have that bass line and I'll have it. Oh, let's take that sequence and that could, no, not that one. Yeah, that guitar riff. Oh, and, and let's put this vocal sample. And and, and you're, you're, you're basic, it's like Lego. You're just like sticking it together and boom, there's your track. Well, it's a little bit like if I were to ask you to cook me a curry. Uh, or any dish. No, no, let's say curry. I mean, I love curry. And, and if you don't like curry, then we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Um, but let's say I ask you to cook me a curry and you go, okay, Vaughn, I'll cook you a curry. And you go to the shops and you, and the, and the market and the, and, and cooking a, a, a curry will take you the whole day. You know, from the time you go and buy all the ingredients and you chop everything from scratch and you spend all day in the kitchen at the end of the, the, the night, you cook me a curry. And depending on your skill level as a chef, you know, you will either cook something that's outstanding or not outstanding or whatever. The point is you would have made the curry from scratch. 
But let's say, let's say now I said to you, okay, I want a curry, but you thought, oh, okay, but you couldn't be asked. So you went to the supermarket and you bought a curry kit. You know, you bought the onion barges, you bought the, uh, the, uh, the samosas, and you know, you bought the tikka masala, and you just microwaved everything and put it on my plate for me, and you went, could you call yourself a chef then? No, you couldn't, because anyone could do that. And it's a little bit like this whole construction kits thing. Now, if you want to get MIDI kits and you want to load them into your door to kind of see how chords are arranged, so you'll get like, I don't know, something you can't play and you move in this MIDI file and you it's got a whole riff that's played. In my opinion, that is okay if you use that to sort of see how it's structured and, and you and, and, and as a way to teach you to be a better producer, that's fine. But if you're just taking ready-made stuff like, oh, there's a, I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to take this and you're just putting it together, then I will get, I will go so far as to say, you're not an artist and you're not a producer. Now, don't get me wrong, using loops and things like that, there's nothing wrong. Some big artists and stuff do that. However, I think it's nice to know that when you put a loop down, why don't you try and create your own one? Now, I'm not saying you must, but there are a lot of people, the, the you know, top known producers who use loops, but, you know, and, and it's more of a convenience thing, but they are also able to you know, produce those loops from scratch. Now, this gets into murky waters now because, you know, what constitutes being a producer and what doesn't? All I'm saying is, and, and you can you can figure this out for yourself because there's no right way, no wrong way. And, and, and I'm thinking to myself now, I'm getting myself, I'm going down a rabbit hole. But if I can bring it down to my own personal story, I got into music and production many years ago and something that guys my age and the older generation will tell the younger generation is that is that it is so easy these days you know you are so lucky with you know the, the access we have to technology the access we have to information you know the information that you get for free on youtube is information that i would have paid thousands of pounds for 20 years ago and it's just available for free so this is a wonderful time but with that comes the price of not really understanding what you're doing now i please and it happens all over the world it happens all the time where some kid will get a construction kit maybe bang things together and he's got a hit and if that's you congratulations but i'm not really talking now about mainstream i'm i'm, I'm talking now so far as what i understand and that is what it's being an artist and and, and doing something that is that, that you can authentically be proud of I will briefly illustrate this using my story and really what it is, I got into keyboards, you know, at a certain age and taught myself to play. I've never had a music lesson in my life, but I was out at a restaurant one day and there was this guy sitting at a honky tonk piano with no microphone and he was playing this thing and he was rocking that place. And I thought to myself, Wow, that was like a like an epiphany. That was like a eureka moment to me. I thought to myself, I want to be that guy. I want to be a guy that can do this without the need for technology. I want to be that guy who can sit at a piano and play it and not need any technology because I didn't want to ever be a button pusher, meaning I am a button pusher now, but I wanted to not be reliant on, to, on, on technology. I wanted to be the guy that could... Uh, and this is this is just my standard I imposed on myself, and it was me saying, look, if technology disappeared, could I still be a musician? And that was important to me. So I embarked on this, you know, learning the piano and teaching myself. And of course, I went out, and I, of course, for years I was crap. <laughs> but it, you know, it's, it's through repetition and desire, and you know, the more you do something, uh, as Gary Player, the famous South African golfer, said, the more I practice, the luckier I get. And of course, that's exactly how it is. So you keep at something and you know, you well, like with anything, you suck in the beginning, but you get better and better and better. And now fast forward to now, I'm able to play to a pretty competent level and I'm not bragging or boasting, but that came with a price that took lots of struggle and failure. But because I did my time, I built a foundation. So that is why when I'm working on something now, you know, I can, I can, troubleshoot I can find problems very quickly it's because I've done my time I've, I've got this knowledge I don't know it all 
but I have a, I have a, a, a foundational uh, um, foundation to fall back on. But I would have not got that if I just relied on drag and drop. I'll have that, I'll have that, I'll have that. And I think a lot of producers would agree with me on that. Um, once again, it's just my opinion. So to summarize it really, use the technology to make you a better producer, but don't be like the guy who goes to the supermarket and just buys everything and microwaves it and has his dinner. It's, it, you, you, because then you're not a chef, you're not an artist. Excuse me being philosophical. But now, my friend, I would like to hear from you. What do you think of that? Um, once again, I don't like to give... What do they say? There's a saying, don't give advice because a wise man does not need your advice and a fool will not take your advice. So I don't like giving advice. But you asked for my opinions. A lot of you did. And it's just my opinion. And I could be horribly wrong. However, I just feel that you really need to have... Use the technology to give yourself a real understanding of what you're doing. As I said, if you're just dropping things in that are you know ready being produced, you buy a construction kit, use a ready-made drum kit, a ready-made this, a ready, then you're like the person just buying ready-made food. Um, I know it's very tedious when you're building a track to actually you know build your kick from scratch, but this is something I did and. I, I know there's a lot of geeks that get, and there's a lot of purists here. Uh, I know purists in my community that, uh, you know, they they will build like an entire song from scratch. I mean, that they will they will build the drum kit using, you know, you know, fr fr from from a synthesizer, just 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 you know, starting off with a sine wave and then building it all the way up. Um, you don't need to go to that extreme, but it depends how far you want to take it. But I think these fundamental foundational things of sort of understanding how a synthesizer works and, and going into things deeper will make you a better musician it'll make you a better producer it'll make you feel more fulfilled um so the whole drag and drop thing um yeah so far as using it to kind of if you want to dissect things and learn it but if you're just going to use ready-made stuff I just don't get it. But I would love to know your opinions, guys. I'm not here to preach to you. I'm here to interact with you and to discuss things. So please let me know what your opinions are on that, um, you know, these MIDI packs and construction kits. What do you think? What are your opinions? I'd love to hear from you. Guys, as always, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the like. I uh, really appreciate you being here, and I will see you on the next video. Adios.